Busy weekend in downtown Salt Lake City with General Conference for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The special Slad Egan join us now with a preview. Hi, Lad. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints invites all to listen and watch General Conference on this Palm Sunday weekend. On Saturday and Sunday, five sessions focusing on the peace, hope, and joy of Jesus Christ will be broadcast live from Temple Square in more than 70 languages. The church reminds that in-person attendance for the 193rd annual General Conference is limited because of parking and also accessibility concerns related to construction at Temple Square. The audience will be restricted to 15,000 people per session. The conference center can normally seat 21,000 people. Speaking of that Temple Square construction, last week it was announced that the expected completion date of the temple renovation and seismic retrofit has been pushed back to 2026. Tickets are required to attend sessions at the conference center this weekend and were distributed through stake presidents. There won't be overflow or standby seating options. Conference goers are encouraged to use public transit. A ticket to conference also serves as a ticket to ride UTA buses, front runner and tracks for free. And KSL will carry all five sessions live right here on Channel 5 starting tomorrow morning. You can also watch on our website, on our TV app, and also listen on KSL News Radio. And as Kevin mentioned, the weather looks like it's going to cooperate. It will be great, finally spring-like for conference weekend. Back to you. A lot of folks looking forward to it. Thank you very much, Lad. KSL TV is your home for extensive coverage this conference weekend. Here's a Saturday slate starting with I Am The Journey at 9.30 in the morning. Then you can catch the all-in special between sessions at noon. The day will then wrap up with the evening session at General Conference at 6 p.m. On Sunday, you can see our report on the Uvalde Angels after the Sunday morning session. It all wraps up with our conference report on KSL 5 News at 5.